hello clickers. My name is Maria Shandorova and I am a head of product development at Infinity. Welcome to Technical Tuesday videos. I hope you already know Forms, a powerful ClickSense extension that enables you to add your own inputs directly in ClickApp. In this video, I will show you how to create a powerful dynamic Forms object. That means the user can very simply choose which editable fields should be shown to him. As you can see in this demo application, there is an HR use case and for each employee, I have information about his or her technical skills, soft skills, languages and certificates. Let's say I want to add information about the conferences he or she attended. Since it should be editable field, I will add a new field in forms properties panel. So let's call it conference. And here it is. But the conference is now shown even if I choose a soft skills category or technical skills category. You probably noticed that when I defined the conference field, there is an attribute column width in pixels. And this attribute can be calculated by expression. So obviously, when the column width is zero pixels, the column is hidden. When the column width is a positive value, the column is shown. So what I did was that I used a variable to manage which fields should be shown and which not. So I used a click object variable input with the variable we skill types. So let's create a new alternative value to it. Let's say 99 conference. OK. And now create the expression. So the best will be for me to copy and paste <laughs> the expression I have already defined. And you can see that it's a really simple expression that uh, says me that if the skill types is zero, that means all category uh, is chosen, then this field will be shown. And also uh, if the variable with skill types have the value 99, that means our new conference type, it will be shown. And in all other cases, it will be hidden because its width will be zero pixels. So let's try it. Technical skills, now conferences, conference, click world, <laughs> the best one. And I have also one bonus here in this video. And it's about a dimension. No, it's not about a dimension. <laughs> As you can see, uh, here is the dimension ID that is also shown in the table. It's the unique ID of the employee, but there is also a measure employee name that is not shown here. And the reason is very simple, because when the width can be calculated by expression, you can very simply define the expression in this way. So once you have only one employee filtered, then his name is or her name is hidden because as you can see on this sheet, it's also already listed. But once I clear all my selections, then the employee name is shown in the object. So I have the full list of my employees. I really hope that you got inspired and that I helped you to have your click sheets as simple as possible. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and enjoy forms.